Hello guys, welcome back to the Arrivey channel and today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to hopefully fix using a couple of my methods uh, your graphics card from doing artifacts and also causing your computer to crash while gaming. So without further ado, let's get on to the first method. The first method is going to be a better cable that goes from your monitor to your dedicated graphics card. I was using the one that came with the monitor. Now granted, uh, higher end monitors will come with a lot better cord than what mine is. Mine is a Viotech 27 inch 2K monitor. Um, actually, that's going to be saved for another video, but that is an amazing monitor in my opinion. Uh, for budget builds. I'll have a link down in the description to the cable that I use. Hopefully that one will work for you. Now the next step is going to be updating your graphics driver to the latest update version available for your graphics card. I use NVIDIA GeForce Experience. That is of course if you're using NVIDIA drivers for your card. Now if you're using AMD, I don't have a fix for that. This is for NVIDIA cards. So that's the second option. Now here we are on the NVIDIA GeForce website and then uh, this link will be in the description of this video um, this is where you can get geforce experience to update all your drivers you just hit download now i'll go ahead and open up the geforce experience app just so you guys can see what it looks like but if you go over here there's a drivers option over here and you guys can see right here we can check for updates and it gives you all a list i have the latest one installed this right here is the latest one um, available for your graphics card at this time of the video now the third step which is also hopefully going to help out um, if the other two have not is to reflash your graphics card with the fresh bios now in order to actually flash your graphics card bios you're going to need a few programs now I'm not going to show you guys in here how to fully do it, but I'll give you a good reference video to go follow and um, the video that I watched that helped me get along with it and possibly fix it if it goes wrong for you. Now if you guys want to learn more about this, I would recommend going over to Coil Wine. Uh, I'll link this video down in the description as well. Now the fourth and final step that I have for you, if all the three other ones did not work, is to download this program called DDU, which is Display Driver Uninstaller. And that is going to uninstall all or any of your previous graphics drivers and old drivers for your graphics card. And uh, that is what really fixed uh, the concern. Now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to come down here to the link that I have in the description and um, it's going to say here DDU um, uninstaller. Now this works for Windows 7 up to Windows 11. So if you are on Windows 11, it'll work. You can read through this here as well. The recommended usage. Basically, you're going to download it from one of these download locations. And when you get to it, you can bring it here. And this is what's going to be in it. Now when you go to it, if you're not already, um, there is a readme in here that you can see. Again, it just goes over the stuff that I was reading. And for a guide, you can go here. It tells you what it is. And step by step process of what to do. So when you open it up, this is what it's going to look like and you have your settings, DDU logs, all that, readme um, and stuff like that. So just go ahead and go in into the run as administrator. And as you can see here, um, there's a letter update for mine, but you're gonna go into here and you're gonna go down to safe mode. Now it's gonna say down here, you know, you're not in safe mode. It's highly recommended to reboot into safe mode to avoid possible issues. So just click reboot to safe mode and it should take you to safe mode. And when you log in, um, it's gonna look a little funky because it's not loading any of the drivers that are for your computer. It's loading just basic generic ones for you. Um, and this is just going to be for it to work completely 100% without any issues. That, so you'll reboot into it and open it up. And then when you open it up, it's going to show you basically like this. I'll hit launch and it's gonna look like this once you're in safe mode. And then what you'll do is go down here to where it says here and you'll select GPU. So this one right here is what I did. Clean and restart, highly recommended. Um, there's also two other options, clean and do not restart, which may cause a black screen, uh, clean and shut down. And this is for installing a new graphics card. If you have already the graphics card installed that you're gonna be wanting to use, you would just do clean and restart and it would get rid of every single thing in here. As you can see, there's a log here and it just gets rid of all of your uh, last drivers you had for you know let's say you went from like I like I did a 2060 to uh, the 3070 it gets rid of all of those every single one that you've downloaded 
um, and updated it to. And when you restart, it'll reinstall the correct driver. Now you still will have to go into GeForce Experience probably and go into the driver setting there and reinstall uh, the latest driver that you have that's available for your graphics card. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that these steps and methods have helped you out. And if it did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Don't forget to share the video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.